Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shandira. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas and Ohana. Welcome to another episode of DIY Saturday. But hold up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can join our awesome Ohana, our awesome family. Make sure you're following me on all my social media sites, you guys. And make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs, as well as our new Laramar Elixir to reduce redness and brighten the skin. So in this episode of DIY Saturday, we are making a strawberry salt scrub. Strawberry season is here and I'm so excited. You guys know this is my favorite season. If you not you have not seen my past DIY Saturdays where I do strawberry recipes, I'm going to leave them in the card so you guys can see them. And well, let's just go get into this recipe and let's go. So welcome to another episode of DIY Saturday. In this episode of DIY Saturday, we are making a strawberry salt scrub. So you guys, I'm really excited to make this scrub. I'm actually gonna do a variation of strawberry salt scrubs this year. So be excited and on the lookout for that. So it is strawberry season. The official season has started uh, on the West Coast at least. It starts somewhere between uh mid march early april and then it goes all the way to summer for us on the west coast if you are not on the west coast strawberry season may have not started from you so you still get chilean strawberries that ain't my bad but you know i don't do chilean i do u.s and maybe sometimes mexico but i felt mexico strawberries are not as sweet as u.s strawberries and you know i read a report which was really interesting interesting but I think I should tell you guys this is that I actually saw strawberries from Egypt in a frozen bag and many of you know I'm a big big supporter of local grown or grown in the U.S. specifically from U.S. growers so I'm really big on that so if I see something from different countries like fruit vegetables I will not buy it at the store I talk a lot about this in my videos but I just want to say this before we get into the tutorial so so I was at uh, so I was at Fry's Fry's here in Arizona, and they have which is like Kroger, the Kroger brand, and it's Ralph's or Ralph's in uh, Cali. So uh, I was there, and they had Egyptian strawberries. I didn't get them, but what was really interesting on the news is they were saying that Egyptian strawberries literally were actually killing people. They had a news report. Our people were falling sick and ill here in the U.S. from Egyptian strawberries. And I'm like, like why would you? I mean, but common sense would tell me, but I don't think people normally look on the back of their uh, strawberries and say, oh, well, they're from the U.S., so I'm not going to use them. But you should always be looking on the back of your strawberries or any type of produce that you buy to see where it is from. Uh, because you don't want to get sick or anything to happen to you. So yeah, so I'm just so happy I didn't to tell Josh not to be picking up stuff from Egypt, you know, product of Egypt. And Egypt is a desert. So why would they have strawberries in Egypt anyway? That was just so weird to me. So you want to start off with a cup and a half a cup of salt. I This is just regular sea salt you could buy at the grocery store. You can buy at Boke and Winco. I am so happy for strawberry season. If you've seen all my strawberry videos, you know I get excited during strawberry season. So if you are new to the channel, just look at those videos and you know I get hyped during strawberry season. So I'm so excited. I just love strawberries. This is one of my favorite seasons, you guys. So to that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of strawberry powder. Now I do make my own dehyd. I do have a dehydrator. I have an Excalibur. If you cannot afford a dehydrator, which actually, if you do make a lot of dry food, fruit, you tend to save money in the end. However, you can buy freezer dry strawberries at the store, and they're like three dollars and twenty-five cent a bag. So 
specifically here on the west coast now i don't know about the east coast or the southern states or down south or any of that i am a west coast girl you know west coast works differently than the rest of the <laughs> world it's just weird we do but anyways here's a close-up what it looks like this is the strawberry powder i just dehydrated it and there you go so i'm really excited mm, it's so good <laughs> so i'm gonna use a heaping tablespoon of strawberry powder a little more um and then we're gonna mix this all together so you just want to mix this until it's combined I just love strawberry season, you guys. No one understands. This is like my favorite season. Strawberries are high in antioxidants. They do antioxidants. They do wonders for the skin. I mean, it's just a, I really do enjoy strawberries. I, I It's one of my favorite fruits as well as blueberries. I love dehydrated blueberries. If you guys have never tried dehydrated blueberries, it's like eating a sweet raisin. They are that good. And when I and so when I was pregnant for the whole journey of my pregnancy, I'm still pregnant now, I could not eat blueberries. Literally during my first trimester, I would try to eat a blueberry smoothie. It would come right up. Just morning sickness for no reason. So, I cannot believe I couldn't eat blueberries. I couldn't eat nothing healthy. It's like when I was pregnant, like the morning sickness literally made my baby not want to eat healthy and then i so i was telling joshua well, this is your child because you know i like to eat healthy so i don't know where this is coming from <laughs> so anyways we are going to use a fragrance oil it's optional for you to use a fragrance oil if you want to keep this scrub all natural you do not have to use a fragrance oil but i'm just going to use the kiwi strawberry fragrance oil that i did use in the previous video to make a kiwi soft scrub i mean kiwi sugar scrub so that's all we're going to use so we're just going to use about a teaspoon of it uh, it depends up to you how much you want to use. We also are going to use Miracle Glow Oil, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow Oil contains all natural 24 karat gold, and it is also a wonderful moisturizer. Make sure when you purchase Miracle Glow Oil that you do shake it up as you go. You want to shake it up to make sure all the gold is dispersed through your scrub or through your i mean through your oil you want to make sure it's all dispersed through your oil we are going to use 20 uh drops of glycerin glycerin is a humectic that adds moisture to the skin i'm so excited to work with dry salt scrubs too we also are going to add about a half a tablespoon of kaolin clay to this scrub oh that was too much okay so you want to mix this up until it's combined and you just want to make sure all that kaolin clay is combined in here kaolin clay is a great uh clay that tightens the skin it makes you look useful as well as miracle glow oil and make sure you guys check out laramar elixir at savvynaturalista.com as well and thank you so much to everyone who has bought uh, Miracle Glow Oil. So once you've mixed all your ingredients together, we're going to add our oil. So we're going to add about a half a cup of oil or three-fourths cup. And this is a quarter cup I am using. So I'm going to do it about twice to see if I like it so far. So twice is a half a cup. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to mix it together just because I want to see if it looks like the way I want it. If it doesn't, then I'll go deeper. Not deeper, but if it doesn't, I'll have more oil. Excuse me, you guys. Okay, so it looks nice like this. I don't need to add any more oil because I am looking for a great coarse scrub to put over my body without being too oily. So once you mix it up, oh my God, that strawberry kiwi fragrance smells so delicious. Woo -woo. So make sure you guys get some of that i'm gonna leave a link down below so this is the scrub let's do a close-up it's all done this is the salt scrub look how beautiful it looks so i want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of diy saturday make sure you pick up miracle glow oil at savvynaturalisa.com as well as our, as well as our laramar elixir 
we are adding new products to the site uh you know so make sure you check it out thanks so much for watching this episode of diy saturday i hope you are as excited for me if you live on the west coast for strawberry season y'all know this is my favorite time of the year i get really excited if you don't believe me please watch all my other videos where i get really hyped about this season so anyways thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel also, make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel and make sure you check out SavvyNaturalisa.com for all your skincare needs. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in our next episode of DIY Saturday. Bye, you guys.